Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft summary uh, video. However, today, not too much to say, but really go and watch Lawrence's video, which will show up at the end of the video here, because he has a lot to say, because he did a lot on the stream. Myself, this stream, since the stream as well, and even before the stream, we didn't really get much done. We explained the um, automation system for uh, the sake of people who didn't you know, help us build it for the people who don't really know how the Minecraft mechanics of automation works. We've covered it up somewhat, so now uh, it's actually really difficult to get down there. Um, my apologies for the frame lag, that's not you as me. Uh, so don't go rebooting your computer. The only way into there currently is um, the, the secret. Whoops. <laughs> you might have noticed that jumping is different. I'll show you that in a minute as well. This uh, secret elevator here, which now hurts because when I filled this in, I'm not sure if I did this before the last one or before this one. Um, I went along and put edges on all of this, specifically so that when you slime sling, you don't really hit your head on anything, but you also don't really go very far anyway. So um, I wanted to stop ending up in the walls because there was you know, a uh, tunnel here, there's a cave there. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> falling into it. Uh, yeah, that's how doors work. When I was uh, a kid um, in Manchester, there was always... Uh, I lived in Altrincham and there was a place... There was a, the, the train station, which was also the Metrolink station, which is the tram system in Manchester. And it's... I think it was actually before it was the Metrolink. There was a door that said, Danger No Floor. <laughs> like, how? There has to be a floor. Um, I was a very literal kid. Kids tend to be. Um, Obviously, it meant exactly that situation. You walk in and you break your neck because there is no floor. On the other side of the door, there's a floor many, many meters below. Anyway, I made this three by three. Unfortunately, it didn't mean that... Um, wow, why are you so laggy today? I might have to reboot. Um, it didn't mean that this ended up here. Uh, in this position where I guess if you are right next to the site, I don't know. I don't know why that hurts you sometimes. Uh, so here's our basement. These are the pipes. They all link all the way down to the um, storage system. I don't know if I've explained this before, but if I haven't, now you know. I've put the arrows underneath them just so that you know which way the items are flowing, because it they flow on the left, but for some reason I assume that they should be on the right. Um, I guess I don't really have a, a reason to believe either. Um, so there's a couple of changes that we have actually made, or at least Tristan has. We had a little bit of trouble with the sand. Uh, we had in this drawer controller here, there used to be sand. Are you going to tell me what's in it? No? Okay. Um, which would go into this induction smelter over here to double the ore and produce rich slag. Um, for some reason, it would send too much sand and then it would not fit in the drawer, it will bounce all the way back down the thingy and back up the pipe and then nothing can come through. If something comes back down these pipes, it gets stuck in the servo and uh, nothing else can get through. Nothing will be extracted at all until that thing has a place to go to. Um, which means that something has to be smelted and use the sand, which means there needs to be something there to smelt. And the reason we need the sand is that everything has already been smelted. Um, so it got stuck. So Tristan Spade this, you can go apparently directly with this crusher from cobblestone to sand, whereas with the thermal expansion crushes you will be going from cobblestone to gravel to sand, which needs a second one. Um, so this is a little bit easier. There's a... I'm guessing we're filling this automatically at the moment? Uh, sorry, manually at the moment, because there's a weird number in there and it's not going up. 29 by 64 plus 20, so that's not being filled automatically because it would be full if it were. Um, the one thing we can do is we can build an aqueous accumulator to very slowly fill it with sand if we uh, to fill it with a uh, cobble if we wanted to because we've already got one of those going on over there anyway. So we know how that works. No point showing it a second time. Um, we put the occasional item duct, uh, see through item ducts because these are the opaque item ducts, of course, just so that we can see that things are happening. The opaque one reduces lag considerably because it doesn't have to draw and update with the server all the positions of all the things. Um, for a visual display, which does actually cause quite a lot of lag if you've got a lot of things going on. Anyway, we've also upgraded this powered uh, this furnace to a powered furnace, so now we don't need an input of any fuel. Uh, this was being filled manually when it was a normal furnace, although we did discover, even still, we had to put the furnace underneath the pulverizer. So we've, I think we've walked through this. If you missed that, go and have a look at the extra videos in, in this playlist, which tell, 
it's recording us actually making this system. So these are just the updates to this system. Um, this pulverizer, which you know produces pulverized everything, has to put it in the top of a furnace, which I am assuming is still true when it's a powered furnace. Uh, it was definitely true when it was a manual furnace, when it was a coal furnace. Uh, and this is obviously pulling out the stuff which is going back up. So we have got on-site on -site sand production and we've got a powered furnace, but it still needs to be underneath there, uh, which means sand doesn't need to come down here anymore. The only things going down here are basically rare enough, i.e. ore, that they will definitely fit in there and will be pulled out very quickly and processed. Uh, we probably showed you, we probably showed us putting that energy cell in there last time as well. Now, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about this jumping effect. <laughs> I was fighting in the down in the mines. I was doing some spelunkerating, and um, I found an enchanted book. It was flapping around and trying to attack me, so I beat it up, and it dropped an enchanted book of multi jump three, which was brilliant because it turns out you can multi jump three enchant your Tinker's Construct slime boots. So now I can jump into the air several times uh, if I want to, and I only need to land once, and it looks like I could do it a third another time, right? So. Um, I believe that there is a maximum height that this bounce will give you, regardless of how high you started. So there's a maximum amount of jump I can get from my three jumps anyway. I'm, I'm not going to be able to stack these too high. I'm not going to jump up there, for example. But it's really handy not having to get the slime sling out every single time. Now, isn't this cozy? I've actually put a roof on this damn building for the first time. Um, I'm tempted to put something in here. But I, um, it doesn't have to be completely covered up. Look how nice it looks now with a roof on it. I was also tempted to do some trim around the edge here because this is just normal wood. I, I think I could probably get away with doing that, but this is just extra work. Um, this took hours. <laughs> First of all, because I had to make all of these framed slants. And secondly, because I then had to go over them all with that much slate. So these slants, I don't know if I've shown you this before. Um, this is what's up there, these things. Uh, and you put them next to I we did cover this actually a long time ago in creative mode because I remember figuring out the uh, placement rules where you can do things like that as well um, but if, if you make any block at all and then right click with the thing it takes the texture of the thing uh, I discovered that you can use slabs instead of the full blocks which means you can spend a little bit of power to cut them in half and they go twice as far which is quite nice uh, it just means that you don't have to it's probably not that big of a deal when it's um, you know, just stuff like slate, which is just being mined up anyway. Uh, it, it's not that precious, but when it is fairly precious, you know, you've got the opportunity. Now, there's a couple more decorative things that we could be doing here. Um, like this bit of wood here just sort of stops. I was thinking maybe we could do some sort of decoration around the roof or something, I don't know. But the point is here that you can land on the roof and still get in, because there's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of landing on the roof and still getting in. Now, let's have a look over here, speaking of new builds. Uh, this is something that Mike's been working on in between the streams as well. So you wouldn't have seen this on the stream if you were there. So um, you should be watching these videos whether or not you're at the stream. So you can find out these things. Because uh, I'm not playing in creative mode and downloading the map anymore. I'm playing on the server now. This is live. This is real. Uh, Mike's been building this building, which everyone else is going to see. Or well, probably on Lawrence's one, actually. What are you doing? Make some noises. Uh, is that the doorbell? <laughs> is there a doorbell? Ding dong. Early on high. Um, what is this? <laughs> I like what you've done, but I hate that it's lime concrete powder. Uh, that's really cool. But also I hate it. Um, this is a nice place to live, isn't it? I've never seen this before. Oh, look, it's the clock. Um... I'm not sure if that's actually telling a time re relevant to Minecraft at the moment, but there you go. Also, I'm not quite sure why it's got a circular face. That doesn't seem appropriate to the theme of the game. Uh, this is cool. One thing, actually, since I'm here, why don't we suggest, what if this was actual bibliotech, bibliocraft bookshelves? Um, is, there a, is it a bookcase, maybe? Yeah, there's a thing. There's this bookshelf that you can use. Um, you can actually put books in which is great. So if you can find those and use them here. I love how there's lots of different types, which obviously uh, Mike has made use of. It would be great if we could actually put the books in these bookshelves. 
because we do have a few books and why not you know fill up the books shelves with real books um sorry at the back the garden could do with a bit of work because it's just a river <laughs> and it's also outside the perimeter which is not allowed um but it's got two back doors which is you know one for the servants one for everybody else let's have a look upstairs is it downstairs oh no there's a bathroom press none for farts <laughs> well it's an actual sink like, does it produce do you think it produces water i'm not going to find out let's go up here actual minecraft paintings no one sees those anywhere nice i love it when there's a uh, actual storage in the storage units you don't want to be putting things on these shelves <laughs> just saying um, they, they seem a little bit fractious Oh, we've made use of the XP shout, XP drain. Just wood tanks, but that's this is, must be a lot of them for this to be actually draining this much stuff. Nice, and you can turn it on again. Uh, you you kind of need to not have them both, I guess. Does that turn this off? Oh, <laughs> what that does? We'll find out on stream. Join us on stream. Uh, so I don't have much to show you. This is Mike's place that he's built. There's only one bed, but it's a really nice hangout space. We sit on this? No. There are sofas in this mod pack, though, so we could use them. Uh, I love these extra just architectural blocks. It's really cool. I should probably make use of those. I've just been doing a lot of stuff with vanilla stuff. Um, like over here, I just use normal... Um, fence posts and stuff like that so we haven't really used any of the cool stuff that's in there over here because i didn't know it existed so maybe we'll play with that um in between streams or on stream or after the stream um but yeah that's all that i've been doing we fixed that we still need to build the rest of that building of course but it took hours to do this um other people have been exploring doing their quests and things like that but i wasn't really paying any attention to all of that so go and have a look at what lawrence has been doing in his video which should be popping up any time now and uh join us on the stream which is half past seven on monday's GMT, which by the way is a different time now because they changed the clocks underneath us. So if you feel tired today, that's why. Um, and empty? Yes, yes it is. Um, yeah, join us for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.